Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you another way you can use to make a paracord cross. This is the so called vertical crown knot paracord cross, and it was designed by William Johnson. I have since modified it a bit to make it easier to tie and make it look a bit more even. For this project, you're going to need four cords of paracord, that is, and each cord is about a foot and a half long. With this said, let's get right into it. So we have our four cords here, each about a foot and a half long, and we're going to start by using two of them to make the top part of our cross. And we start by folding one of our cords in half, then taking the other cord and going under the left and over the right, like this. And then we're going to tie a cobra knot on the right side. And this will make our first cobra knot, which is used to secure our two cords together. We're also going to leave a little loop at the top, so we can use this cross as a keychain. So like this. We're now going to start lining up vertical crown knots, which are done by first taking our right cord and placing it under the middle cord on the right. Then with the left, going over the left middle cord, Then we're going to take our right cord and basically just tie a cobra knot like we did before. And this gives us our first vertical crown knot. These knots require quite a bit of adjustment to look proper, but if you keep everything tight, they should come out nice. So we've made two knots so far, and we need to make a third one. So again, take your right cord and place it under the right middle cord, with your left cord go over the left middle cord, and then tie a cobra knot, like we did before. And with this, we have set up our top part of the cross, and we're now going to move on to making our bottom part. So we're now going to make our bottom part, which is done exactly the same way, but without making the loop. So fold one of the cords in half, then take your other cord, and place it under over, like this, then tie a cobra knot onto the right side. So we've now tied our cobra knot and we're going to pull out our loop since we don't need it at the bottom of our cross. And we're now going to line up four more vertical crown knots, just like we did before. We need five total knots, so we're going to add four more to the first cobra knot and this should be enough for the bottom part.
And with this we have formed our bottom part and we're now going to join the top and bottom part by making the sides. So we have our top and bottom parts here and we're going to take our right middle cord and place it over the left middle cord and we're going to do this on both of the parts. So with this done we can now start joining the two pieces into a cross. So basically I set them up to get an over one under one sequence at the middle. This is not mandatory but it makes your cross look a bit more intricate. So like this and then we're going to start with a cobra knot just like before but we're going to also keep our middle two cords crossed. So first tie a cobra knot and this is a bit messy because the cords move around a bit but it will get better after you tighten up your first knot. Make sure that your middle cords are crossed. So after tying the first cobra knot, we're now going to tie two vertical crown knots to make one of the sides. So by tying the second vertical crown knot, we have three knots and we can now move on to the other side and make three knots as well. On the other side, we need to make sure that we have an over one under one sequence in the middle. So I'm going to place my right cord over the left. So you can see in the middle, things are lined up. And then we start with a cobra knot. Now we tie two vertical crown knots and with that we're going to complete our paracord cross. So after tying all of the knots, it is time to simply cut all of the cords and you will have a nice looking paracord cross. Here you can see a tighter version that I usually make and you can see the nice center with an over one under one alignment. So guys, 
I hope that this tutorial wasn't terribly hard. It gets a bit messy, especially if you are showing it on camera, because I don't have the luxury of tightening all the way. Make sure to tight the cross as tight as you can to get the best look. And with that said, thank you for joining me and see you next time. Thank you.